And welcome to this new live session of Customity. As we are letting people in, we are going to wait just for one minute and get started. In the meantime, let's play some music. Yo, online store owners, listen up now. I'm about to drop some knowledge, show you how customly the best staff in town. Let me tell you why, so you can win a crown. Then you can wear the crown. Personalization is the name of the game. Give your customers that personalized thing. Customized products so unique and cool. Spread the word, don't be a fool. With Customily, store will stand out. The possibilities. There's no doubt for t-shirts to mugs and everything. In between, the customers will be. Welcome everyone to this new live session of Customity. Welcome all just joining on the chat. We are ready to get started. As you know me already, my name is Josema. I'm going to be your host today, but I'm not alone here. I have my two Customity Jedis, Cecilia and Ezekiel. They will be joining us presenting as well, great ideas for today's live session, as well as trending products. And we'll be answering questions on the chat, giving you links and information, also helping me with some questions that may come up, and we're going to be presenting them live and answering at the end of the presentation. So to get started, let's talk about today's agenda. We're going to be covering our top customized design of July. We're going to be talking about awesome design ideas for posters because today is all about posters. And we are going to be working also with some ideas that transcend a bit the, uh, the, the canvas or poster itself. Also, we're going to get in deep into this with the app and create a product base of a canvas with frame colors and vari in size variants. And also we're going to create a custom design very specific today with some great tips for uh, using custom. Of course, at the end of the presentation, we always have a Q and A time. So stick to the end, get your answers straight up, use our presentation. We're going to see a lot of things today. So to get started, I'm going to open stage as well for my friend Ezequiel, who's going to be presenting as well today. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jose. Hello. OK, today we have a lot to talk about, as you just said. So let's start with the top 10 custom designs of July. Mm -hmm. Number one is the one we are wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the number, number zero. <laughs> um, OK, well, July is a, a great month for different kinds of uh, special dates. So we are going to see uh, a lot of different designs. First of all, we are going to see a lot of design about pets because tomorrow is cat day and the 26th is dog day. So in July, uh, people are, were using a lot of these kind of designs, different designs with a couple, just cat dog, um, um, sorry, uh, cat dad, dog dad, and different designs of that. Um, and then we also have, um, this kind of a split heart with, with mm -hmm. the map uh, that is becoming very popular. But I want you to pay attention to one design, the number five. It's about Halloween, it's a Halloween design. So in July, people have started to use this kind of designs because Q4 is about to start. And it's a good time to start thinking about it and start acting. Uh, so we have a huge library of uh, designs about Halloween, and we're going to add some more. So uh, it's a, a good thing for you to start thinking about this. Um, mm -hmm. We're going to be incorporating that... some, some Halloween ideas in future live yeah. sessions as well. Yeah, we are going to talk a lot about Halloween. It's the first big um, 
sales uh, season, season uh, sorry, <laughs> is the first big day uh, in Q4. Uh, so we are going to talk a lot about this, but uh, I just want you to know that stores are starting to use this. So it's, uh, it's better to start with time, better sooner mm -hmm. um, and just, well, uh, start using custom list designs for Halloween products. We are going to talk about this in the next live sessions. Um, but we have another five designs. And of course, dogs and cats are all over the place. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are, uh, we have a lot of uh, pet designs, so people are using them a lot. And we also can see designs uh, with friends or besties or uh, similar things about that. And we have one, the seven, we have one about uh, the fall season, besties, but with the the topic of fall season. Um, yeah, but I should keep in mind that there was like a <clears throat> stop time, there was like a like like a um, period with no school when actually friends could maybe studying uh, um, in different universities got together after some uh, time, uh, probably um tried to commemorate that uh reuni reuniting with uh particular products that would stay that's why we see a lot of trendings on the besties right it's like okay so we were able to get together we are now back to school but we have this uh this customized product this yeah. t-shirt this canvas this uh um this memento of our gathering at this point that's uh, what we see is very interesting how customers behave regarding this particular time of the year. That's true. And the good thing is that we can create this, a design that our customers can adapt to their needs. So if um, they are a group of uh, three friends or four friends or five, they can just change the design in your store when they are using it. So um, the topic of the day is posters. So what's, what about posters? Let's see some trending designs, trending designs for posters. Um, for example, uh, the map uh, with different shapes. So if you, uh, if your customers like to travel and to have a, a good memento of, of those travels, uh, you can create a design that um, allows them to um, add different locations, different places, and have a, a, a nice um, reminder of those trips. Or even if they have a family in different um places of the world they can just uh have this in every in, in each home to mm. remind them mm. posters then, can also come in a different format not just yeah. hanging on the wall and uh <clears throat> and, and you can being have a uh, frozen memento we have sorry yeah uh, uh well we have seen a uh, uh, table clothing as well uh, or printings that will go um, on 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 big tables that are later uh, presented with uh, epoxy resins to to immortalize. But a great thing we have seen customers do is that you can print out your uh, let's say like your favorite part of the world or the one you want to visit or you want you are going to visit and print it out as a cork canvas or cork poster because you want to pin and connect things yeah. actively so that becomes like a it's still a poster it's still it's, it's like an active and ever-changing poster based on a customized first start map with probably um compass and your names and your uh and, and your dates in where you begin and then that poster becomes to to uh evolve with your constant tripping, for example. That's a great idea because you can continue to personalize it all your life. Yeah. That's nice. I think I'm going to, to buy one of those. <laughs> <laughs> so the street signs, um, they are very popular. They have been popular for a long time. And it's uh, really easy to create and to sell because you can add uh, different names. If, if you it's, it's a couple, it's just two names, but you can use it for a family too, or for besties, for a group of friends. So it's, it's really nice and it's becoming very popular. You will see it a lot in Etsy. And this one, the pet portrait is becoming like, like it's, I think it's following me everywhere. I have seen it. 
a lot uh, these days. And the good thing about this, it's very easy to create. Sometimes less is more. So just with uh, a good picture and, and a text box for the name and maybe adding uh, different colors for the background so your customers can choose, mm -hmm. you can create an easy design, a really nice one. I think uh, I would like one with my dog. And um, you can make just some changes and create your own and it's easy. And if you want to make something more complete and complicated, you have the family clipboard. So you, your customers can choose different um, genders, different um, clothes, different hairstyles, and the quantity of the members of the family and a lot of more. So you can't uh, make something easy and fast and still sell a lot. And then you can create other designs that are more complicated and still sell a lot. Remember a couple of live sessions ago, we did some some pet portraits, right? In which we showed some quick ideas uh, for the shaping of the mask and how to cut part of the dog. So maybe you want the picture to end in the very low uh, <clears throat> edge of the poster, or maybe you want that to have a specific shape. Uh, if you browse back some live sessions, we have been uh, giving you great examples, um, kind of getting ahead of this trending we're starting to see for posters. That's good. Uh, maybe okay. I, I will share uh, one of them in, in the chat then. Um, well, then if you are selling um, products related to movies or series or even music, uh, you can create this uh, kind of, or, or even books. You can create um, book covers or movie covers and add some personalization to them. So you can uh, allow your customers to add their faces and then their names or change the title with uh, using the title of the movie, but making some changes. Uh, we will see really fun products about uh, movies and series, so it's a nice niche. And the same goes to, to music. If you are selling products related to music or you can use like, like this one with the wedding uh, style and uh, just the like the couple's song um, mm -hmm. and personalizing it with, with the picture. So it's really easy to create. Uh, the, the media players are selling a lot and we have already created designs in Casomili, so you can choose one of them. Yeah, we also have the uh, you can have the chance to 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 add the QR. So whenever you customize a song and you get the QR code of that song, you can just uh, upload it as an uh, as an image upload on the corner or something. So whoever actually sees the 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 poster of the media player could actually just take the shot to access the song directly. As an example. Yes. Yes, maybe if a band is playing and they want to hang a poster with a QR to the playlist, uh, they can do that. So it's a lot of things that we can do with a simple design. And then star maps, well, you will see them all over the place in Etsy. Um, you can do a lot of different things with star maps just to remember the uh, birthday, an anniversary, the day you got married, uh, a lot of things, uh, the good, thing is that you can create different styles of star maps. So you can add different colors or just the constellations, the Milky Way. You have a lot of uh, options there. And uh, you can allow your customers to choose. So it's one of the most personalizable things, I, I think. And I really like them. Um, so good, good option to, to choose. And mm -hmm. last but not least, OpenAI images. Um, uh, um, a tip for this is not just use an image, uh, add some other uh, or elements to, to, the, to the design. So here you can see that you have a title for the place and then uh, the names or maybe a date. Uh, so let your customers create something from scratch with the picture, with the AI, but uh, give them some guide so uh, they can think what to create. If you are uh, creating a poster uh, about uh, travels, about a place, then they may be able to choose the place, but give them some guide on the prompt to 
to create that design because sometimes it can be uh, difficult if you don't have some guide for that. We have also shared some functionality uh, uh, pro tips in which you can fix some parts of the prompt and then you can add some others very common on the pet portraits that uh you want to look uh like uh, like a knight in armor or uh <clears throat> or a um, explorer kind of style so those parts of the prompt are pre are fixed and pre-made by you and the um the customers can input the breed can input the um the, some some expression details so yeah. for example if you want to offer an open ai uh, canvas that has a fixed style and whatever you prompt as the scene should be in that fixed style we have some pro tips uh, in in our um in our uh, facebook communities i think and youtube videos which you can follow to um to set a, 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 a pre-made prompt for the style and then the rest can be automatic uh, can be added by the customer that's a great way to yeah. uh not give an a, a huge um freedom in case you're just getting started plus you can uh diversify the niche you're exploring as well that's great jose uh thank you for saying that because we have a, a blog with ideas for prompts so, uh, so you can it's easy for you to to create different things and we also have videos explaining how to uh, to connect openai to customly and how to create different uh, designs so we will share that then here we have a blog uh, with a lot of ideas for different posters or canvas and we will share the link too and uh before I, I leave you with the, the class, uh, we wanted to talk a little mm -hmm. bit about other related products, not just um, not just posters. The good thing here is that you can create a design thinking about a poster, but you can adapt it to different products. So you do the hard work once, and then you have a great design that you can apply to different products, different sizes, different kinds of product, but in this world of uh, canvas, posters, frames, and so on. So yes, you can do a simple poster, but you can create frame posters or posters with hangers or canvas. But you can also sell tapestries. If you are selling halves of the dragon, you, maybe you can relate to the uh, tapestries because they are all over the, the introduction of the series. And then you have uh, metal art and you can create a design that is nice for, uh, for canvas, but is uh, nice too for a metal wall art. And then of course, uh, banner, banners, different kinds of banners. So it's a whole world of different products that you can create one amazing design and then use it for a lot of different products. Mm -hmm. And well, now it's your turn, Jose. Oh, actually, oh, thank you so much, Ezekiel. Uh, actually, that last comment uh, uh, was the right push to um, to start with a with a training part because the thing is, there's the Design itself, which is what Ezekiel is saying, is something you do it once, right? Of course, you do it with uh, following certain proportions because you wanted this to um, whatever design you establish to be portrait. You want to connect to multiple products that have the same proportion. Same goes with landscape. Uh, we saw some examples of the maps and the family canvas. But it's very important that the design will somehow follow. Uh, um, a good proportion, right? So family canvas will be all sitting one next to the other. So putting that on a portrait will be kind of a bit of a, of a complexity. On the other hand, if we see um, the garden banners in this case, that you see like a like a portrait kind of design because you have a, a tall image and the text below. So it's very important that that will not be properly fit on a on a landscape canvas. So sometimes sometimes we have some square designs that can be anywhere and we can actually sell the same product with multiple sizes, uh, multiple um, frame colors or types of hangings. But also 
th sometimes it's important to just focus on the right proportion to showcase the best ideas. And that's why today we're going to be showing an example. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a portrait kind of design, right? So uh, among the many things we talk about, well, um, lucky for the entire world, babies keep, uh, keep uh, being born and we want to celebrate that, um, that uh, moment of our lives and their lives, of course, for the future. And so we picked this design. As you can see, it's a vertical kind of design. It's a portrait because, well, uh, we want to present the baby uh, um, as tall as possible, sometimes as big as possible. And even the funny thing is, sometimes you can actually uh, make it so that it will be the real exact size as the baby at that moment. That's very, very crazy. But <clears throat> it's actually something that people kind of try to aim to. So um, we're going to quickly show you how you can uh, uh, put together something like this. And, um, and of course, this is just a suggestion. You're always welcome to explore new ideas, uh, prompt, uh, jumping off from this base main idea. So um, first I'm going to show you the end result. Let's uh, start sharing my screen very quickly and go straight to this product, right? So this is our baby figure, newborn frame canvas, right? And actually, we have some um, some frame options, right? And some size options as well. So when we pick, for example, let's say the oak uh, frame, you see how the frame is changing. Same with the silver, walnut, and white. Remember, this is all something you can uh, you can automate using customily and the variants. Also, when we change sizes, this is very important because right now we have picked the 16 by 24 inches. So we are seeing this, this uh, preview as it is, but it's printing on 60 by 28, uh, 24. If I switch this to 20 by 30, you'll see that actually the preview is pretty much the same because they are the same proportion, but it's going to print in the right size. And this is very important because we need to make sure that each one of the sizes will connect to a particular template. Also to know that this can automatically be created when you pick a print on demand provider and also when you create your own product basis, which is what we're going to be doing today. Now, a quick um, overview is we can swap between images, swap between backgrounds. In this case, we were able to, um, to match the color of the uh, text to the color of the background, right? And we can type then the rest of the details, right? In this case, let's go with something darker so you can see. And we can type like the name, then the details, um, uh, for example, the place, uh, the time born, the date, the weight and the height, for example. So this is like a great memento. And the style is something that you can find uh, um, on, on a lot of uh, online galleries and providers. And the background, you're going to see how easy you can do it, something like this. So let's get started with uh, Customity first. So we uh, are not going to be using print-on-demand providers today. We want you to we want to show you that if you want to fulfill with uh, uh, locally or even on your own workshop, you can still use Customity without any problem. In that case, because you are creating new listings, you want to create a design and you want to create a product base. Then you want to combine them together so the new listing will be created with its unique template or templates depending the size. And so on, we're going to show you how to create a product base that implies uh, multiple sizes as well as multiple options, in this case, for the frame color. Let's start with uh, creating a product base. Right? In Customity, we have the start section. We can create new product, of course, but first we need a product base. So we can either get to the product base section or use these shortcuts here and go and create a new product base in here. Once we start creating our product, we're going to establish some uh, important uh, <clears throat> details. For example, we're going to call this the live session um, canvas. Just one quick second. 
to stop and get back up. Okay. So live session um, frame color canvas, right? Or poster, open up like this. Right. So for, very important. Our print size will be uh the first one we're going to be using uh we're going to be creating we're going to create three sizes right so the first size let's say is the biggest one and we're going to put this to be 24 by 36 but sorry inches and 24 by 36 inches okay great so once we create our first print area our first uh, uh print size for this like this, right? This is the proportion we're going to be using. And we're going to be printing in PNG, in 300 DPI. And we're ready to jump to the next part, which is the preview in which we're going to show um, the poster itself. Now, in this case, what I made, and it will be uh, interesting to, um, to show you, is what I had a room base like this. And what I did was, um, create basically the same base with the white space. Why? Because in this case, we want the, the product to be white on the background, but depending on the assets you create and the way you bring them from, from your tools, it may show up with a white background or maybe with a transparent background. So uh, if we have a base like this, it's going to show the wall and we actually want this to be guaranteed. It's going to showcase in white. Of course, it's going to print in white, but it's some, a matter of showing. And then we made this uh, free canvas options, this uh, frame options. We have the uh, white frame, we have the black frame, and we have the natural frame. That's what we want to show as our product, um, as our product images. So in customity, we will cam, and on the second part of our product base, we need to click we need to follow basically these three steps, or at least first two, and the three, the, la the last one is always an extra thing we can add or not. But it's important to add a product image or multiple images. If we add one image, that becomes our product image, or our background when we're going to place our, um, our print area. But what if we have actually, um, we have actually multiple um, multiple uh, variants for the color of the frame in this case. So we want to actually grab all three. So we're going to put the black frame, the internal frame, and the white frame like this. Okay, this will give us all three choices. And then Customity will understand that you have three product images. So basically you have three choices. That means three variants and we're going to be able to create them and name them. Now, very important, we, now that we have these product images, we want to grab our maximum print area and want to scale it until it fits. Now we could actually try and see this to fit perfectly, but the truth is most of the prints will require that you uh, have a margin or a bleed. So maybe the maximum print area will be slightly bigger than the frame itself that you're showcasing. So in that case, we recommend we slightly extend this above the frame, just a bit like this, and shows like this, all right? So maybe just a bit more in here. So we make sure that whatever we are going to be printing, we are showcasing within the boundaries of the frame. Now, what could happen is that this may, may uh, straighten or flat the border against the, the frame image, right? Frame image has some mm, drop shadow, some, some effects that we don't want this to lose in appearances. So that's why we have the uh, masks. Now, mask will, um, will be placed on top of the print area and shape up or adjust the uh, the the design itself. So, for example, uh, this case is a canvas. It's pretty straight. But when it comes to pillows, when it comes to um, to blankets, what's going to happen is that it's going to shape a more realistic uh, view 
of that design, as well as add some shadow effects like uh, wrinkle shadows. Uh, in this case, it, it could be a, a glow that we could create for, for this particular frame. Our masks are pretty simple. Is the frame itself, again, just placing on top. So if I were to come here and add a mask, basically, we are adding a dynamic image, no more than this. But the dynamic image will be on top. So we have this, the black frame, the natural frame, and the white frame, just like this. Let's uh, open this again. They have to be in the same order because customity will connect all together. So number three will be the white, number two will be the natural, and number one will be the black, as we see here, right? In this one, right? See, one, two, three. Now, because I made this, you see, with the exact same dimensions, all I have to do is fit to the canvas, and it will slightly adjust and put on top, just like that. So now they are perfectly aligned and our print area has been, has been made into a sandwich between the product images at the bottom and the mask on the top. And that will guarantee me that it will show very realistic and very um, adjusted, okay? So let's click next to finish off this product base. Um, when we save, Right, we, here we can see how the print area will show on the entire uh, product file. And this is how we are going to showcase in this particular case. When we click Save, we are prompted about the variant. This is very important because here we can say, for example, okay, so black, the color will be on this case, the frame color will be the black frame, natural frame, the white frame. You can um, type in if you want to change these names just separated by a comma. But the second thing, we want to adjust is to add more sizes because we want to create another group of variants, which is the uh, the size. We want to offer the frame color and the size. So instead of saving, we're going to save and add another print size. This will take us directly to the beginning of the product base. And we need to input another size with the difference that we already have an existing size, which is the 24 by 46. I'm going to add the 20 by 30, yeah? This has been adjusted and fitted, right? And we jump next. And here we have two possibilities. We could actually replace the entire images with um, versions with the smaller canvas because this is uh, actually a smaller size, right? Or we can keep it this as the original. It depends on the context. If you want to show this smaller or bigger depending on the picked <clears throat> um, depending on the, on the picked size. Uh, in this case, I won't be adjusting the, the proportion to, to fit the, rea the reality, um, basically because we want this to show pretty big. Sometimes maybe we need to just uh, scrap some context and make sure this is a plain wall in which the, um, and will be up front, the, the canvas. So if it gets a bit smaller, it won't lose um, any, any um, uh, it, it will still look nice. In my case, what I want to always see is as big as possible, the personalization. That's very important for me. So now let's pick the print area. And I don't know. Okay, so now I can just readjust this. Remember, we want this to be slightly off. Yeah, but it will be between the mask and the product image. Yeah, so we click Next, and we are ready to save again and add another print size. This is going to be the last one. It's going to be 16 by 24 inches. It's not casualty that I actually, um, <clears throat> I picked these three sizes because they are exactly the same proportion themselves. So it's like a 0 0.888 something. So basically, uh, this will not change proportions at all with the print area and also with the preview. Preview is very important. So if we are changing sizes and sizes will have different proportions, we need to be prepared to upload new product images and new masks to have that ready. Now, at the end of the day, all of this will be combined into different templates. So they will all look amazing. So if you're thinking about uh, canvas that are a bit more square and or a bit more, um, well, even... Uh, even landscape, depending on what you want to, to create. But 
those that are actually all portrait, but they change proportions, right? like uh, 0.6 or 0.8 or 1.2, I don't know. Um, they will change proportions. And if the mockup will, act, will, will go with that, the experience will be a lot better for the user. The advantage is you can do it all here in the product base without creating the first product. But once done, whatever design you pick will have all the options ready, all the previews ready, uh, all the variants ready, and everything connected directly. So it's a one-time job that you need to do. Do it really well, um, plan ahead, and that will be all. And that's it. We have our product base ready. I'm going to proceed to save like this and create my design. You're going to see how super fast is my design. Of course, we need to start uh, with the uh, the steps ahead, which is you figure out your uh, your baby figures and your 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 assets for that. Right. So let's go to my designs. We can come to the my design section in here or just create a new design from scratch. Once we start here, we're going to call this uh, live session uh, baby um, memento, right? Like that. And as always, this is our design studio and we start off with a very big square canvas of one by one meters. But we are going to resize this. Why? Because we know we're working with particularly uh, portrait um, portrait designs, all right? Well, our product is, is based on portrait sizes. We're going to pick the biggest one, not because we uh, we need to, but at, at the end of the day, Gustavity will just um, resize and adjust all um, the design for all product bases, all sizes. Well, I'm just picking the biggest one because we want this to be um, as big as possible, as comfortable as possible to work with. So that's our actual proportion. And now we're ready to get uh, to work with our um, our designs. As you know, we have. Let's see what we have. We have a um, we have a baby figure. Actually, four baby figures. We have six um, uh, backgrounds. We have a text input for the baby name and another text input for the baby details. So basically, we need to create four different items. First two items for the baby art in the background will be dynamic images because we have those assets or we can produce them. And the other two will be um, will be text elements. So when we come to the design, we're going to start with the dynamic image for the baby styles. Right? So this is our first dynamic image. We're going to call this um, baby art. And I have already uploaded this. In here we have four babies and that's it. We can stretch this as needed, right? Or just go and fit to the canvas so it's really big like that. Actually, we like this. We're not going to be reducing this as big as possible. We're going to keep our friend here. The second thing we want to do is create a dynamic image and upload the um, the background uh, <clears throat> styles we created. Now, how do we do that? That's very interesting because actually I was uh, playing around and figured out a, a, a really um, nice looking way for this to this effect to be to be like this. I went to Canva and all I did was grab the uh, the draw tools pick the big marker, pick the, uh, well, any color uh, in any case. And in the settings, I weighted this to be as big as possible. And in transparency, actually, yeah, like that. So I created all these colors, but the great thing about Canva is if you were to add a page, let's see, um, you can grab this marker, I just saw, um, and, and do, like the same effect or something like this, something that will um, that will show like this, and that becomes an object. When you close the, the draw tool and you go back to elements, for example, or even stay in draw. Uh, no, you need, sorry, 
go to elements and you pick this this becomes an element and actually you can change the color again so if you create multiple pages you can keep changing the color of this add all the images and the options you want and even add gradients so this is great to create a, a really fast but actually stylish looking um, kind of background right so you then download this like just like i did this once right so you download this as pngs you um you might you want to make the transparency this to be transparent if you if you can't uh, depending on yours so on your canva account you can shape this um you can shape this this uh, pages to be 24 by 36 so the white will cover everything in the print right so it's not in, uh, it's not a problem that that you cannot export with transparency. You can export in, in white. Just make sure this is not square. It's actually the size of your of your design. And once you're ready, in Customity, we just upload all this. Tap this. Whenever you you upload one image, remember you are creating a static element in the first position. But if you add two or more you're creating an option for your customers. So that's the um, that's why this object, this dynamic image is also, also shows up as uh, image selection, because in the end, this is what it is. It's, um, it's an object that holds one or, or, or more images for your customers to pick from. Let's call this the background color. Of course, we need to click, hold, and drag this so it shows on the back. Uh, we're going to fit to the canvas like this, and now we have the baby and the background ready to go. If we preview the different options inside this, this background color object, you can see that all the elements are there. And if you um, pick the baby art, you can also shuffle through the different options okay the other two elements we want is the text box right so we create a text box we put it in here we try to give it a name so we want this to extend maybe like this if this is a bit uh, apparently i did a skewing and i didn't realize it. okay just back in we're going to make this pretty big so we're going to for character Make sure this is, I don't know, 300, even though it's not going to be that big. It's 208 at most. We want this to be like this. Uh, <clears throat> I don't recall exactly right now which one was the um, the font we used. Let's uh, go with uh, like this one. So let's go with this, right? And remember always to try your texts, to try them out. Um, as uh, as complex as possible and long as possible so you can see how they look and another great thing we can do in this case is we can come to the color section and try to match the color with the background that's something we can do from here uh let me lock the baby art so i can pick the background color like that so uh number one is this color right so when it comes here, I can go to my color options. Of course, I can connect a library, which is faster. But if not, I can just go for the color picker and say, OK, that's option number one. So I come this and go look for option number two. I preview number two. And for number two, I pick this. OK. Preview number three. And I select number three to be the new selection. And that's it. Now this is saved in number three. And like that, I mean, there are six. We can just go faster. Yeah. I remember always to to position yourself on the right option. Otherwise, you're going to basically uh, um, over um, just replace what the color you had before. Right. But doing this in um, libraries is well, it's a one-time job. So always remember to use libraries as much as possible. Finally, number six like that once i finish with this and the reason i did the colors first is i want to do another text remember but if i take the time to create all the colors and the fonts and whatever 
uh, that's only one time uh, uh, task you need to do. Then you just grab your text, do Control C or Command C to copy, and then Control V or Command V to paste. And now the new object will have all the color options and we don't have to worry about picking again all the options. So every single time you want uh, cast um, text to behave the same way, focus on one and when you finish that, then you copy and paste to save yourself some time, right? So let's uh, shrink this a bit, change this to the, oh no, that's the uh, character. Let's go with this one. I think it was the one. Okay. And we're going to shrink this just a bit more. Put it in here. We can grab these two together like this and center and this and also center. Right. And yeah, that's this seems to be pretty well. Remember in this box, we want to add all the information from the baby. So maybe we can call this the uh <clears throat> baby name name and baby details so baby yeah baby details just like that we have background color baby art baby name and baby details and that's it that's all we need for this design yeah um let's remember this let's remember that um the baby name has id number three and the baby details has id number four the reason why i'm i'm always careful about this is later i want my background color to change not only these images i see here but for each one of the images it's also going to change the three and four text elements right we can uh we can fusion that so one single choice will affect multiple uh, will do multiple functions and affect multiple objects. So let's click on Save Design. Perfect. Whenever the design is ready, you can revisit the options and do these small adjustments I just mentioned. you. So if I go click here, I can click anywhere or the Edit to go back to the graphic part or click on Edit Options, right? And it's going to open the actual options we have right now. So we first thing is the baby art, then we have the background color, then the baby name. And you see for the baby name and the baby details, we have these, um, these color choices. What if we simplify everything into this background color option? Basically, we want to come to the baby name color, click on the, uh, on the locator, and see this customity function. This is targeting, uh, has a function of text color number three for, for text ID number three. So what if we put this function into the background color? I open the background color and I look for the functions. Right now it's changing the dynamic image number two, but I can add another function. I can just add this text color number three. Yeah, and this baby name color we have two choices. We can either delete this or hide it. I recommend hiding this because uh, you don't know who, when you may need that. So now it's not showing at all. But because we did the function on the other swatch, everything is still changing colors. Let's do the same with the baby details color. This is customity function text color number four. So let's hide this yeah, and put that function into this text color number four. Yeah, just like that. And I think we're pretty well, pretty, pretty done. Let's click save. These options uh, will be embedded with the design. So whatever product you create from this design will have these small adjustments. So now let's create the product. Let's go to the start section, go to the create new product. Now we can. We're going to find the product bases and we are going to look for our uh, poster. There you go. Frame, let's frame color poster. Oh, from my, okay. Oops. I'm going to fix that typo. <clears throat> so this is our product. It has color and size variants. We have the free colors for the frame and we the free size variants as well. So whenever we pick this, basically we have nine variants will be created. For each size we have, for each frame color, we will have three sizes. The 
print area is by default on the front. And we're going to click next. If you don't want to sell a particular size or a particular natural uh, frame for the design you're going to pick, that's something you can do here. Not all designs will look good on all possible options. But when you build your product base, make sure you create it with all the options. Then you need, then you pick which ones you want to use for a specific listing. In the next, we're going to pick from our designs and uh, probably on the last page, we are going to find the baby memento. And that's it. Customity now is working out, creating this on my store, whatever my store is, a Shopify, an Etsy, uh, <clears throat> or a Woo right now, because as you know, in our latest um, live session, we announced that now we have all these same 2.0 tools uh, available for WooCommerce stores. It's a great leap in advancement. So uh, if you're thinking about uh, <clears throat> expanding to multiple um, to, to multiple platforms, that's amazing. Now you know you can connect to WooCommerce. And of course, we'll have all the same features as uh, Etsy and Shopify accounts have right now. Once the product is saved, it will take us, as always, to the revision part. In here, we can change the name of the product. We can even add the price if you want to um, check how the customization is working. So in this case, right, so this is loading. All the options have been created for the uh, for the color of the frame and the size. So let's change this to, uh, I'm going to go with the um, live session, baby poster, <clears throat> uh, newborn. Details. All uh, right. Remember this: uh, the that the title has a lot to do with uh, with search engines. It's important to title as much as you want uh, and need to be identifiable. And then we play around. Let's we change this. Let's see how this changes. Okay. Perfect. All right. Just like that. And this is also changing. Am I going to type something? Yeah. I have this pre-made designs, but uh, you see how the title is changing, right? The colors are changing. If I go this, then it's changing as well. That's the automation we did when we connected all functions together. Okay. And let's go with this. Now, I like this image. So I'm going to save this as my new product image. Okay. And if I'm going to just to double check that the size actually changes templates. So they print, they look the same, right? But they are printing in the exact size you are selecting in here. That's very important. Okay, now let's go and publish. We'll take us to the front end uh, on another tab and customity will jump to the product linking page. Okay, so this is our image. So if I were to click, for example, I don't know, natural frame, we didn't check the colors, natural frame like this. And you see how um, my listing photo has a specific baby and specific color, but when I start customizing, it seems to change, right? Uh, well, obviously, this is the first um, is the first choice of the baby art and the background color, uh, so it's always going to show this combination at the very beginning, even though we have this um, we have this as our main example. Now, if you want to start changing things, but actually keep the main example there, there's a trick for this. Um, we can do this by opening the option set that was created specifically for this product, clicking here to open the option set and check it out how easy it is. First, let's see what we want. We want the line art with like the multiple lines drawing and we want the um, the gradient background, the lighter gradient background. So in that case, all I have to do is come to the option set, click preview to quickly identify the items like this baby art. Now I want this baby number three to show by default, 
So I come to this, uh, to the settings. I look for the swatch values and I find number three. This is the one I want a default loading. Uh, so when I start changing, let's say the frames, uh, it doesn't look like it's changing something. It's uh, it's like a like a um, like a like an effect for customers to don't get uh, somehow confused of that they're customizing. So let's uh, click this to be selected, right? So now the default selection when the customization begins is this um, design. And when it comes to the background color, let's go to image number six. So I locate this in here. I look for the swatch values. I go to number six and I click select, just like that. Now I save it and you don't have to reconnect anything. And these are um, changes that are exclusive to the product we are working on because it's an option set and a template. So all I have to do is refresh. This will be my listing photo, right? So this is uh, not movable. Actually, it's this image, yeah? But if I were to click, for example, um, natural frame, it will keep this image and it will, um, it will change the frame just like this. And then, yes, of course, I can change this. But you see the default selections are the ones I picked. So this is very attractive because when, we, when you start uh, customizing something, you want things to pop up. Um, very common when we have, um, when we have people. And yes, okay. You start with the skin color, and you start with the with the with the hairstyle. But turns out that if you don't have a pre-selected uh, clothing, your customer sh your your character shows up naked. So we don't want that to happen. So having pre-selections is amazing. So many people will start with the names directly. It's also a good way to see something right away, right? Or, or with the color of the frame in this case. So when you start customizing, let's say typing a name. All your characters will have a pre-selection of um, skin colors, clothing, hairstyles, right? And the same is here. Your pre-selection doesn't have to be the first two. Maybe the most attractive ones are the one with the gradients and the lines. So that's what you, how you want to begin your customization. Later, they will be able to choose whatever they want. But having like a like a pre-selection uh, pre-selected combination gives the customers like a full scope of what they are able to customize in a particular product. And well, that's it. It's working. Let's uh, type something. Right, looking good. Changing colors, yeah, and all the details. Yeah, looking pretty amazing. And now we are ready to go straight to Q&A and see what's going on on the chat. Pretty sure Cecilia and Ezekiel have everything under control, but let's see what we can answer on the way. Luna is all good. That, that's, that's, that makes me so happy, Luna. <laughs> everything is good. Um, okay, let's give it just one, uh, a bit more for those that may be typing, right? But I want to jump off any questions. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I want to tell you that further questions will come up. Uh, further ideas will come up and you want to ask, uh, how can I do this? How can I uh, redo this and, and push this an extra level? Uh, for that, I always recommend you reach out to our support channels. Um, support alcustomity.com, that's the fastest way to uh, to get a ticket open and your case being reviewed very fast. Sometimes when it comes to you working right there with the app, you can actually open a live chat, right? And Always join our Facebook communities. Always share questions and ideas. Or there's always somewhere uh, someone uh, willing to help, willing to guide you. It has happened to them. They have tried before, so they know a lot of uh, of uh, <clears throat> tricks along the way. On live sessions, we are going to get deep into uh, the star map feature. We're going to. Uh, <clears throat> come up with some great ideas to show you how um, 
how to work with star maps. Um, I'm pretty sure you know the tool, of course, but we're going to to see what's beyond the tool. It's going to be amazing. We're going to see to do some great ideas and great stuff. Okay, um, so this is the star map uh, elevated. It's going to be really great. And that's all for today. Thank you for joining our live session today. Thank you for supporting this project another year. See you next week. Bye-bye.